Nine parts of the human soul, according to ancient Egyptians. Ancient Egyptians had our own complex ideas what makes a human soul. Their beliefs involved with dividing the soul into nine parts. Kit, Ba, Ren, K, Shuyet, K, B, Ak, Suyu, and Sikaram. Eight of these were mortal passed into the afterlife. Night for the physical body was left behind. Parts of their own unique functions by analyzing this believed it possible to understand more about the ancient Egyptians believed. Ket or Kaya, the body. Uh, ancient Egyptians believed the physical form itself was part of the human soul called the element of Ket or Kaya. It was vessel inhabited by the rest of the soul of the earth. It's part of the re- reason, my vocation, Aim is important to ancient Egyptians. Preserving the physical body is actually preserving the important part of the soul. Are the person that died, offerings are being made, the soul, the physical body, because it believed the rest of their soul should, should, should <coughs> <coughs> supernaturally benefits. So the benefits and nutrients from the offerings. The body was the link, the essence of the person who once inhabited it. A concept of seen in many other interpretations of the soul. Bar, the personality. Perhaps the closest the Egyptians had to the modern ideas about the soul made up the elements of the person that made them unique. Taking the form of a bird from a human head, Bar was the way the soul would move between the mortal realm and the spiritual one. Egyptian believed that Ba would travel through both realms occasionally while a person was still alive, but the journey Ba made between the worlds increased insignificantly after death. Ba would visit the gods and the spiritual realm, but it was this part of the soul which would also forget the places a person loved and was still alive, maintaining a link between the parts of the soul which dwelled among the stars and that of kept the other elements of the soul which remained on earth. The idea that Ba would spend time in places that a person loved during life is also familiar, similar to modern today, but the idea about ghosts and spirits lingering place love once loved by a particular person while alive. Ba is believed to have been connected physically to the body and remain with it that cat would eventually not visiting physical places, communicating with the gods. Ren, the true name. The Egyptian Egyptians have given the name of birth. It was a kept secret to anyone but the gods. This name was considered an extremely important and powerful part of the soul. The ability to destroy a person and their soul permanently. Throughout life, an individual was known only by nickname, so no one could be able to learn their true Ren and gain the power it contained, or chance the knowledge needed to destroy it. As long as the wren still existed, so had the power to keep on surviving. As long as embalming was correctly completed, modification was successful, the wren went. A person and a soul would exist for eternity. A series of texts beginning around 350 AD called the Book of Breathings complied the names of compiled the names of the ancient Egyptians, wrote them down physically to try and ensure they survived. A powerless name was accom- accompanied by a creation of the Korotuch, a special way of writing a name inside, protecting magical barrier, was used around the royal names. Just as preserving the name of Ren was crucial to preserve the soul, destroying the Ren was part of making sure the soul was destroyed forever. It's part of the reason why many names of hated figures such as the Antirian were ritually and destructively removed from the monuments and texts after their deaths. K, the vital existence of a person who distinguished between life and death. The Egyptians believed that either the fertility goddess Heget or the goddess of childbirth Hetmiskelet breathed a Kai into the body of the blood of time above. The Kai is what made the new infant truly alive. They believed that Kai was such a sustained throughout life with food and drink. They believed that Kai was still nourishment after death, which is the reason why food and drink are presented to Kite. I also think that Kay was annoyed to absorb the foods physically, but thought the nutrients were absorbed by Kay and supernatural nuna of the death. A kind of offering tray called a soul house was made of clay shaped in the house that developed to present Kay with offerings, some surviving elements, some were seen 
some have clay models of food in them. They've been used as a way of determining what an average house would look like in ancient Egypt. Some people believe soul houses were more even turned into a physical place of clay reside. There's no evidence of this, and the more likely they were simply to elaborate way presenting offerings of food and drink to the deceased. Shekhat, the shadow. Ancient Egyptians believed the shadow was actually part of a human soul, person's soul, is ever present, as they believed it contained a part of that makes each individual unique. As many other cultures, the Egyptians believed that the shadow was linked in some way to death. The shadow was believed to be a servant, a Buddhist, the ancient god of death and the afterlife. Physical descriptions of the servant were the human figure, shaped and entirely black. Some people had the a shadow box among their funerary items, so the shirt, a place to inhabit it. In the Egyptian Book of the Dead, the soul is described as leaving the tomb of the deceased during the day in the form of a shadow. This shadow is believed, considered only a shadow of a person who represents a not a f- major or destructive manifestation that cease in the physical realm. Jabad, the heart, D.B., the heart. Just as many people believe today, the ancient Egyptians saw the heart as home to move in motion. So it was considered so set of thought, will, intention. This meant that Jibbe, heart, was a very important part of the soul to them. The word appears to many sayings, expressions, ancient writing, or Egyptians' expressions would offer a prayer to the heart as a metaphor. In ancient Egyptian sayings, mention the heart is referring to the physical heart, an element of the soul. Jibbe was a part of the person used to gain. Assessed to the afterlife, the heart would be weighed on a scale, round fe- against the feather, the feather of truth. If the heart weighed more than the feather, a person was denied access to the afterlife, and the heart was t- eaten by a demon called Emmet, who was described as a fearsome lion, hippo, crocodile hybrid. To preserve and protect the GB, the heart would be specifically embalmed, and then placed in the rest of the body, along with the heart scarabed, with a hermetical emulet intent to prevent the heart giving away too much information about a person jeopardizing their success, passing the weight weighing of the heart. Apu or Aku, the immortal self. The Aku was a magical combination of the elements of Bela and Ka, which represented an the immortal being after death. This in magical unification of Baal and Ka would only be possible the current fraternity rites formed after death. The Baal and Ka would stay with a cat and many elements of the soul did. It lived amongst the stars with the gods, though it did return to the body on occasion. Necessary is a representative of the intellect, will, intentions of a person. The Ark was also an aspect of the soul which would reconnect with loved ones by appearing to them in their dreams. Sahu, the judge in the spiritual body. A Sahu was actually a further aspect of the Oku. As soon as the soul was deemed worthy of entering the afterlife, a Sahu would separate all other forms of the soul, much like some modern ideas about ghosts. A Sahu was said to haunt those who wronged a person in life and protect those whose soul was loved, just as Oku could appear in person's dreams. Sahu would appear to a person. <clears throat> it's often considered eventual spirit will be blamed by any, or for ill fortunes. It's, it, there's an example from Middle East Kingdom of a letter by a widow in the tomb of his late wife begging for a sister, sorry to stop haunting him. Sakurim and Sikurim, or Sikurim, life energy. The Sikurim of an element of Akram. Not much is known about Sikurim. But it's considered a kind of life energy of the soul. The second was present in the afterlife after judgment being passed, a soul considered worthy. The Book of Dead, the second is described as a power and a place which gods, Hornis and Araris, live in the underworld. The second may also have been used to control the physical surroundings that outcomes of a person their actions like Arco. The second did not reside with the cat and his physical body, but among the stars of the gods, and goddesses, the complexity of the soul. The way each Egyptian divided the soul is indicated, or how indication how important it was to them. Clearly, something which had fought a tremendous amount of detail it was the crux of their beliefs about the afterlife and how a person would reach it. 
I believe that the soul also detected the way they treated the body of the death. Manification, the ironic part of ancient Egyptian culture, resulted in their beliefs that the cat of the parts of the soul meeting to live in what, to, needing a place to live. And I expect the soul will influence many other parts of Egyptian culture too, for the violent removal of names to destroy the wren, the creation of texts such as the Book of Dead, and the soul would appear to much the cultural and spiritual society of ancient Egypt.